For your safety, please ensure to read the full disclaimer located in the description below this video before you start your virtual training. Hey everyone, Brad here from PSB Borden. Today I'm going to take you through a core workout. The way the workout is set up, we'll do 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. We're going to go through three rounds with five exercises. Each round we're going to take a progression onto the core exercise if you can handle it. If you can't make the progression, you're just going to come back down to the previous round of exercises to be able to complete. Our first exercise is a plank. We're going to keep the elbows stacked underneath the shoulders, making sure the hips are up and in line with the rest of the body. We should be able to draw a straight line from the top of the head all the way down through the heels. Our next exercise is a bird dog. Start in a tabletop position, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, reaching opposite arm and opposite leg out as far as you can. Make sure you reach the fingertips out to in front of us and pushing the heel towards the back of the room behind us. Our third exercise is a side plank. We can go from the knees or the feet, ensuring the elbow is stacked under the shoulder, hips are forward, and shoulder is pulled back to create a straight line. Fourth is a dead bug. We're in a laying position, making sure the ba lower back is pressed firmly into the ground, alternating arm and leg, dropping down and hovering just off of the floor. Lastly, a V-sit, using the hands as balance. We extend the legs out. Pull the knees back in towards the chest, keeping the feet off the floor throughout the movement. Getting into our warm up, we're going to start with a long lunge, stepping the foot up beside the hands, keeping that back leg long. You can either keep the leg extended or drop the knee down to the ground, whichever is more comfortable with your mobility limitation. Reaching your hand up towards the ceiling, looking up towards the ceiling, and bring the hand back down. We're just going to do a few on each side. Next, we'll come into a plank position. We're going to go from the forearms up into a high plank on the hands and back down. Let's make sure we do a few in each direction, so leading with our right arm, and then again leading with our left arm. Next, we're going to work some anti-rotation, so we'll be up in a high plank, just rowing one hand up into our rib cage, alternating back and forth. You're going to want to take your feet out a little bit wider to give yourself a base, and the goal here is to not let the hips move. I'm going to do a little T-spine mobility here, bringing one knee across the body. You can use your lower arm to hold it in place, making sure it's up high above the hip. And we're going to drag our top arm across the body as if we were pulling an arrow back on a bow. Keeping that bottom leg long, we're going to do a few of these on each side.
Next, we're gonna hold our dead bug position. So arms are up over the chest. Knees are bent at 90 degrees. Thighs are perpendicular to the floor and making sure that lower back is pushed into the floor. So if we had a piece of paper, we would not be able to slide it underneath that lower back. Lastly, we'll do another anti-rotation here from the high plank, this time reaching across the body, tapping the opposite shoulder. Again, we want to keep those hips square to the floor and not move the body back and forth. All right, we've got our timer here, so you can use that to follow along. Let's get started. First exercise is down in the plank. Okay, let's lift it up. Make sure we keep those elbows stacked under the shoulders. Hips are right in line with the rest of the body, keeping our body in a neutral spot. Good. Next one we're going to set up for is our bird dog. You're going to keep that back nice and flat. Opposite arm, opposite leg, reach up. Take that heel back. Reach out as far as you can, just holding it there for a second. Bring it back down. Good. Move into our side planks now. We'll do 30 on each side from the knees or from the feet, your choice. Bring it up. Hips are forward, shoulders pull back, body's in a nice straight line here. Make sure our elbows stacked under our shoulder. Good. Flip over on the other side. Getting set. Make sure we're stacked. And lift it up. Shoulders back, hips forward. Nice straight line, holding it there. Uh, two more to go in the round. Next one is our dead bug. Laying flat, make sure we're resting the head. Legs come up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Go down to the ground. Just hovering above the ground. Bring them back up. That lower back stays pressed into the floor throughout. Good. Last one in the round, V sits. Good. 
Your feet are out, knees come into the chest. Kicking back and forth. Keeping those feet up off the ground for as long as you can. They touch the ground, pick them back up, and then keep moving. Keep it up. Finish strong. Good. Nice first round. Let's take a couple minutes and we'll get some water. Then we'll move on to our progressions. Going into our progressions now with the plank, we're going to do a leg lift, alternating back and forth. We don't need to lift it too high. We don't want to get into the lower back. For our bird dog, we're going to do a simple hold of 15 seconds on each side, reaching out through the fingertips, pushing the heel towards the back of the room. For the side plank, we're lifting the arm straight up over us, so we should be able to draw a straight line from elbow through fingertips. For our dead bug, we're going to create some resistance by pressing the knees and palms together. For our V-sits, we're going to create some instability here by taking the hands off of the ground and just holding them out to our sides. All right, back and ready. Round two, moving into our progressions. Starting with the plank with a leg raise. In 10 seconds, let's get set. Elbows under the shoulders, just lifting that leg off the ground. Doesn't need to come up too high. You don't want to get into the low back. Just picking it up and creating some lack of stabilization. One is our bird dog. This time, reaching out, opposite arm, opposite leg. We're holding for 15 seconds on each side. Ready? Let's go. Reach all the way through the fingertips, pushing that heel back as far as you can. Switch sides. Good holds, nice work. Side plank is next. Make sure that elbow's stacked under the shoulder. We're gonna lift the arm up along with the legs this time. Let's bring it up. That arm comes up nice and high. Shoulders are still back, hips are still forward. And hold it up there. Good job. On to the other side. Make sure we're stacked. Good. Hips up. Arm up as well. Ten seconds, stay strong, keep those hips up. Great job. Two more to go in the round. Dead bug is next. This time, pressing against the knees, creating that force. Make sure the head's backing down. And we're pressing into the knees. 
So feel that shake. Shouldn't be resting here. Make sure we're pressing nice and hard. Arms are nice and straight. Feet are flexed. Good job. Move into our V-sits. Chest in the balance here, hands just off to the sides. Ready? Let's get those feet up, in and out. Keep those feet up. Straighten them out. Pull the knees back in. Right to the end. Nice work. Good. Let's take a couple minutes again. Get yourself some water. And we'll get set for the last round. For our third round, again, an anti-rotation movement here. Holding the plank, we're going to reach one arm out in front of the body. Again, we don't want to rotate the body. For our bird dog, we're going to be up on the hands and feet this time. Again, reaching opposite arm, opposite leg, out in front of us. For our side plank, the arm is up. This time, the leg is up off the ground as well, holding that starfish position. For our dead bug, one leg is straight and hovering the ground, and we're going to press into the opposite knee. For our V-sits, the arms are up overhead this time, still kicking those feet in and out, keeping them off the ground. All right, folks, third and final round. Again, making that last progression. As we mentioned before, if you cannot manage the progression on the exercise, just come back to the previous round, okay? So let's do our best, let's give it a shot. Test the core. First one's gonna be our plank. Anti-rotation, reaching out in front of us from that plank position. Let's get set. Good, bring it up. It's reaching out in front of us, trying to fight that urge to rotate the body. Keep those hips square to the ground. Keep the back nice and neutral. Great job. Into the bird dog. This time, we're up on the feet, not the knees. Move slow and control, reach as far as you can, don't rush it. Tough one, nice work. Getting into the side planks. Both the arm and the leg are gonna come up this time. Let's stack, lift it up, arm and leg both hovering. That's it guys, hold it up there. Nice work, toughy again. Let's stack it, let's get set. Lift it up, hips, arm. And the foot hovers. Good 
Shoulders are back, hips are still forward. Ten seconds, keep it up. Don't drop. Three, two, and one. We're down. Nice work, guys. Two more rounds. One more minute of work. Dead bug. Pressing on one leg this time. One leg straight, one leg we push. Let's go. Do 15 on each side. Really push into it. Straighten out those arms. Switch sides. Push it, guys. Resist the urge to drop. Nice. One more to go. Let's finish strong. V sits. Hands are up. Ready, set, let's go. That's it, keep it up there guys, let's go. Right to the end. Don't drop those feet. Woo! There we go. Nice job guys. Take a minute, get some water, and then we're gonna stretch it out. Great job. Into our cool down now, we're going to start with a cat-cow movement. So curling the back up, arcing towards the ceiling, and then dropping the belly button down towards the ground, arching the back down, lifting up the head. So we're just gonna move back and forth between these two movements, matching our breathing. Next, we'll do a Sphinx or Cobra. You start on your forearms, lifting the chest up off the ground, pulling the head back, shoulders are down and relaxed. If you have the ability, if it's not too painful in your lower back, you can come up onto the hands, so long as, again, those shoulders stay down and back and the head is pulled back. Next, we'll come into child's pose. So knees are apart, toes together, reaching the arms out all the way through the fingertips, keeping the head in between the arms. From here, we'll move out to one side. So if we move out to our left side, we should feel a stretch to the right side of the body. And we'll switch here, moving across to the opposite side. Again, still keeping that head in between of our arms. Lastly, we'll lay flat on the back. Just squeeze the knees into the chest. Make sure that lower back is pushed into the ground. And we'll just do some rolls back and forth, really focusing on pressing the lower back into the floor.
All right, great job again with the workout. If you ever want to play with it, uh, progress or regress, make it more difficult, make it easier. You can always play with the length of time, make it longer, make it shorter. You can play with the rest time as well, either increasing, making it a one-to-one -one ratio, or completely eliminating the rest time and just running straight through the exercises. Hope you enjoyed it though. Have a great day.